Never seen a team that's prolific in the pass and the run at the same time. Mm -hmm. Just talk about this offense in those terms. Yeah, um, they kind of just feed off one of another. One of another. Uh, Coach Adazio talks about complimentary football all the time. It's kind of what it is. Um, I think you know our identity has always been the run game. Usually, like you said, like the past kind of a pass game. Recently, it's been more run game. And um, when you can run the ball and, and you know hit down there, and the safeties come down, the corners come down, that's when it opens up a lot of passing lanes, and, and then and vice versa, and it just kind of goes back and forth, play action and drop back, all just kind of feeds off each other. You're talking about it then, like in the summer when we were down in Charlotte, it's mm -hmm. about. The tight end unit and yeah. kind of the work that we went to. What's it been like this year watching that kind of come to fruition? And you kind of have a hunch that yeah. it was going to. Yeah, we were talking about it. Like, we just couldn't, like, just we we're looking, sitting in our room, just like how many guys would start anywhere, you know, just like all these different guys. And then obviously, you said it came to fruition. I mean, the other day, it's, I think, six different tight ends against Miami had a catch. Um, and so, yeah, and we know, and, and everybody's, we obviously know everybody's good. So at the same time, that, you know, it's kind of a unit. It also drives everybody to, you know, kind of compete with each other in a healthy competition and stuff. But everybody's obviously, you know, on the same team and stuff, and that kind of drives itself. And we kind of just, yeah, I think we just knew it in the summer. Honestly, we knew it, and then as the games progressed, more people have been able to come out each other's stuff, and now it's apparent. You can't revisit this summer because, I mean, the. The offense is still kind of mature. Like, you know what it could be. There's yeah. still more you can get out of it. Mm -hmm. Like, what were some of the, the uh, challenges and kind of making sure that everything was fine and then kind of the physical work that went into making sure that you were able to play all these snaps? <laughs> <laughs> and let yeah. alone mm -hmm. keep up with all your problems. Yeah. Um, uh, it just kind of dates back a while now that we've, especially with the no huddle and stuff. Um, just kind of doing it, I really think, you know, just kind of repetition and stuff like that. And obviously there's a lot of guys to get out there and so that they can all work that stuff, and, you know, work their techniques and, you know, practice and stuff like that. I think it's just time, you know, I mean, I think bowl game two years ago is when we started doing it. And since then we've really just, that's what everything workout wise on and off the field has been kind of geared towards. And, um, you know, we've had that mentality and everything and, and uh, practice that way. And I think yeah, that's just really kind of where it comes from. Dad was saying, uh, I, mean, I think you mentioned it in the passing, but his disgust for it was very quick. He's like, hates making substitutions. He's like, gets really frustrated <laughs> yeah. when he has to like make yeah. substitutions. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed that? And like, how did that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, we've definitely noticed that. Um, you know, we've tried to, like with all our tight ends, we kind of try and sneak guys in and out, you know, stuff on the field. But he, he won't let it happen. He wants us all to. In, a, in, a right, in the right way, you know, he wants all to stay out there, and so they can't, you know, sub. If you got two tight ends out there, you got to keep, you know, an extra linebacker in there or whatever and stuff like that on the field. And um, with the, uh, you know, with the no huddle and stuff like that, we just keep going and going and going. And so if they don't, if we can't sub, they don't sub. And if, you know, we're in better shape, we're going to get them. And if they're not ready to handle an empty set, whether it's two tight ends or not, then. They're not going to be able to handle that. So you're mm -hmm. going to pretty much a series knowing that mm -hmm. you're going to beat it the entire series. <laughs> yeah, most of the time, yeah. That's kind of how it comes out. But, I mean, there's, there's been occasions where we've had it, but for the most part, we try and do, you know, one, you know, one pair at a time. Has there been a point in the season where you look over the sideline and like, I want to ask, <laughs> but I cannot ask. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There was actually the other night there was one time when uh, – I think there was a penalty or something like that. After I, I got, I got a first down, and then I got a, I got hit pretty good on it by a couple of different guys. Yeah. And, um, yeah. and so I looked over, and, <laughs> and we kind of get a little, little nod, and you know, we kind of made a little, mm, yeah, a couple of times. Still, does the play action buy you a little more time to get maybe deeper down the field than you would have uh, if they, they, you know, playing mm. deeper? Yeah, I think so. I mean, just you know, with a guy like AJ and with, I mean, well, really all our backs and and our stuff, it kind of draws everybody down. So I want to say it really gets us. Deeper, but it gets us open quicker, okay. and and that allows us to get deeper and stuff like that. So it's usually those play actions are quicker hitting, not all the time, mm -hmm. but sometimes they are. And then like actually, you know, you kind of make a good point sometimes when it draws them down, it lets you get behind them, and then you can kind of make some deeper routes and get around them. Mm -hmm. You see mostly safety coverage this yeah. year. Safety's linebackers. Uh, a couple times we've been split out uh, with the corners, but yeah, mostly safety linebackers. Mm -hmm. Because this one. Miami, you clearly kind of just outsmarted them uh, as well as that play. Have you seen, have there been instances this season that you point to where you look at the defense and they're like, mm, we don't have the personnel right now. You know what I mean? Like they're looking over and you're like, yeah. we need the, like, or this yeah. Or yeah, yeah, I think a couple of times they've been kind of frustrated, especially when we do one of those where it's like three tight ends out there, that kind of, you know, and then we'll do three tight ends and we'll have, you know, everybody down in the box and the next play we'll, you know, spread everybody out and they're just kind of, you know, you know, personnel-wise, they think you know two guys are doing one thing, but 
then we're out there in a different, completely different set that they didn't hadn't seen before, and they're kind of looking at the coaches, they're pointing at everybody and stuff. And, Without yeah. naming players, can you name a team? <laughs> um, I mean, a couple of teams have done it, you know. I guess. I mean, Friday night there's a couple of times, but you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Two years ago, when you went down there, was Patrick kind of still? Were you guys just still mm -hmm. finding out who you were as an offense? At yeah, that point? definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was. Um, yeah, we're still getting used to Patrick. You know, we we're kind of Coach Leffer's offense. We were still getting into. And a lot of guys were young at that time. You know, it was a lot of our first time down there. Um, they had a good team. They they kind of gave it to us. So we um, weren't really ready for that. And I think um, you know. And now I think we. Uh, you know, we know what we're going down into, and we know what they are. They're a prideful team. They're you know, prideful university. So we're we know exactly what we're going to do this.